Hey guys, welcome to Dollar Workout Club, where we believe that anybody at any fitness level can do our workouts, and we do them really quick. We have you done out of the door in 10, 20 minutes. My name's Natalie. I'm going to be your host today. This is Lynn. Hi. And this is Drew. Hi, everyone. As you can see, if you're new to Dollar Workout Club, we're wearing green, yellow, and red. Uh, if you're a beginner, then you're going to follow me wearing green. If you're intermediate level, you're going to follow Lynn wearing yellow. And if you're hardcore, like Drew over here, you're going to be wearing red. <laughs> we like to say red is dead. That's how you'll feel red at the end of the workout. Dead. And actually, every single level will be exhausted at the end of this workout. So what we're going to do real quickly are we're going to show you the different exercises that we're doing in today's workout and how you can modify them for each of the levels. Lynn is going to show you how to do the green and the yellow movement of the exercise, and then Drew's going to show you the red movement of the exercise. Then we're going to go through a quick warm-up while Drew explains the structure of the workout, and we're going to get right into it. So we're doing nine exercises today. I know that's a <laughs> lot of different movements, so just pay attention, follow <clears throat> along, and if you forget, don't worry, everything will be on the screen and you can follow along with us. We're going to start with doing standing dumbbell tricep extension. So red, yellow, and green are all going to be doing the same movement. The only difference is the amount of weight that you're going to use. So grab anything at home that you have. If you have dumbbells, you can use those. You can use water bottles. You can use soup cans. You can use anything that you have around your house that has a little bit of weight or resistance. I've even seen people use coffee cans or wine bottles, wine bottles right? We did that one. Yeah, we did. And so just find anything that's, you know, a couple pounds. Then what you're going to do is you are gonna stand with your arms completely upright like Lynn and Drew are showing you, and then you're just gonna hinge at the elbow, bring the dumbbells directly below your head until your elbows are pointed up, and then you're gonna push straight up with those elbows. Now, Lynn and Drew are doing a great job here. The key is that you wanna try and keep your elbows in one spot. You don't want your elbows to fly out like Drew's showing you there, because you'll hurt yourself. You wanna try and keep your elbows as close in next to your ears as you possibly can, all right? And you wanna try and keep your body uh, stationary. You don't want to see you swinging your back wildly when you're going up, and then you just really focus on working the small little tricep muscle to move that weight up, okay? The next movement we're going to do are push-ups. Lynn's going to show you the green version of the push-up. What I want you to do is stand next to a wall, and then you're going to take your hands and put them a little bit further than shoulder width apart and take a couple steps back. Now, the further you step back, the harder this exercise is going to be. The closer you get to the wall, the easier the movement's going to be. Then what you're going to do is bend at the elbow until your chest hits the wall. And then you're going to raise up on your toes slightly when you do that, OK? So you're really working your chest muscle to push your body away from the wall. And that's the push-up movement right there. Now, if you're yellow, the yellow version is a, is a traditional push-up uh, stance, except that you're on your knees instead of your toes. So you're again, you're going to have your uh, arms just slightly wider than shoulder width apart, your knees bent. Then you're going to bend your elbows until your chest gets all the way to the ground. And Lynn's doing a great job here of keeping her back nice and neutral. I don't want to see you lifting your butt high up in the air, and I don't want to see you sinking your hips down into the ground, okay? Perfect. Good examples, Lynn. <laughs> you just Good, bad have... examples. <laughs> you just want to have perfect. And see how Lynn is keeping her neck really neutral? I don't want to see you looking straight up or looking uh, like down at your knees either. Okay, and then Drew's gonna be doing the same exact movement except that his his uh, feet are gonna be on his his weight's gonna be on his toes instead of his knees. Okay, so he's just gonna bend it, his elbow, push his weight up, and you really want to focus on getting your chest all the way down. I don't want to see little half push-ups. Okay, that, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> he doesn't even know how to show you. No, Drew. All right, the next movement are high knees. So <laughs> if you're doing the green version of the movement, you're just gonna lift your knees up. And what I like to do, and what Lynn is doing here, is put your hands out so you kind of gauge, so you don't end up just going like this. You actually get your knees up high enough, okay? Yellow version of that movement is that you're actually going to be running in place and getting your knees really high, okay? And then the red is exactly the same. You're just going a lot faster. So you're just popping up off your toes and going quick, 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 quick cadence movements, okay? That's really going to bring your heart rate up. It's a good fat burner workout. The next exercise we're doing are lying dumbbell chest press. So red, yellow, and green are going to do the exact same movement here. The only difference is, again, the weight that you're using. So you're going to lie flat on, your on the ground, grab your weights, your water bottles, your soup cans, and you want your palms facing towards your feet, OK? And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring the weight down until your uh, arms are parallel with the ground. And then you're going to push up using your chest muscles almost in an A formation. All right, you're going to come down and then push that weight back up. And you just want a really nice fluid movement. I don't want to see you bouncing those weights up. Um, I don't want you to use the momentum. I really just want to have a nice controlled movement, breathing as you push the weight up and uh, breathing out, and then breathing in as you bring the weight down, OK? 
The next way, the, the exercise that we're going to do, you're still going to stay lying down, and you're going to do uh, lying dumbbell skull crushers. So instead of having the weight this way, you're going to switch your palms so the palms are facing each other. You're going to have your arms straight up in the air, and then you're just going to hinge at your elbow and bring the weight all the way down behind your head. Perfect. And then you're going to bring that weight straight back up. You're using your tricep muscle to lift the weight here. And so it's a really small muscle. This is going to be a really challenging exercise. And if you notice, Lynn and Drew are doing a great job of just keeping their elbows in one place. I don't want to see your elbows moving all over the place. You really want to focus on keeping your arms in close to your ears. Okay, the next exercise we're doing are burpees, everybody's favorite. <laughs> All right, if you're green, what I want you to do is find a chair, a couch, a stool, something that you can put your hands and your weight on. We're going to use this ledge here, and then for the burpee motion, what Lynn's going to do is put her <coughs> palms on the platform, and then she's going to step back, step up, and then go on her toes and reach towards the sky, okay? So step back step in, reach towards the sky. That's uh, the green version of the burpee. Now the yellow version, again, you're going to find a chair, a stool, a couch, something you can put your weight on. But instead of stepping back, you're actually going to jump back, jump in, and jump up. And the faster you do that movement, the harder it's going to be. And then Drew's going to do the full regular burpee motion where he's going to uh, get kind of in a push-up position like this, put his chest completely on the ground, and then he's going to hop back up, jump in the air, and then repeat. So the key here is that you really want to get your chest low to the ground, and the faster you go, the harder it's going to be. Okay. <sighs> Quiz time. Do you remember every single exercise <laughs> we did so far? I'm just joking. We only have three left, and like I said, don't worry. All the exercises are going to be on the screen. So the next exercise we're doing are tricep push-up. Uh, Lynn's going to show you the green version of this exercise. So again, you're going to use a wall like we did in the normal push-up, except instead of your hands being a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, your hands are going to be really close together. Not quite touching, but really close together. Again, what you're going to do is take a, cu a couple steps away from the wall, lift up on your toes, and then bring your body close to the wall until your arms are touching the wall. You want your forearms to be touching the wall, and then you're going to push away. And you really want to focus on using that tricep muscle to push your body away, okay? So you're just like Lynn's doing here. Now the yellow version of this exercise is that you're going to be in the same push-up position on your knees, and you're going to have your hands just, you know, right below your chest. You don't want them... Well, the closer you get your hands together, the harder it will be. Usually when I do this exercise, I have them about this far apart, okay? And then, again, you're just going to go all the way down to the ground and push up using that tricep muscle, push up off the ground. And like we talked about before, you want to have a flat back. I don't want to see sticking your butt up or dropping your hips down. Okay, Drew's going to do a normal uh, push-up position with his weight on his toes, and the, his hands are closer together. So push up Drew, and you can see Drew has these crazy, amazing triceps, and he <laughs> is using that tricep muscle to push himself off the ground. This is a really hard exercise, okay? So we're going to push ourselves today. Okay, last exercise, second to last exercise, <laughs> our lying dumbbell Almost flies. So red, yellow, and green are going to do the exact same <sighs> movement here. You're just going to lie flat on your back. Pick up your weight. Now, this is a really hard exercise. So if you're green and you had been using, say, five-pound dumbbells before, pick something that's a little bit lighter, like a soup can or a water bottle. That's what I'll be using today. What you're going to do is take your weights, put them directly above you, like Lynn and Drew are doing here, and then you're just going to keep your arms uh, controlled and bring the weights all the way down to the ground and then lift them back up. You're really going to feel those your chest, your pec muscles, really squeezing as you come together, okay? And then, yeah, you're just going to do the movement just like that. Okay, the last exercise we're doing are frog jumps. So if you're green, what I want you to do is get a chair or a couch, something that you can actually sit down on. We're going to use this ledge here. You're going to take your feet and have them a little bit um, wider than shoulder width apart and angled out slightly. So you want to envision like what a frog would look like. And then you're going to sit down in the chair and then you're going to sit right back up. Okay, so you're just sitting down in the chair and coming back up. Go at whatever speed is comfortable to you, but we really want you to challenge yourself. Now, if the yellow version of this exercise and the red is exactly the same, except that they're going at different paces. So um, what you're going to do is stand feet shoulder width apart, feet slightly pointed out, and then you're going to squat down and touch the ground in the middle, and then you're going to jump up as high as you can. Okay, so red's probably going to jump a little bit higher than yellow, and red's going to go a little bit faster than yellow. Perfect. All right, those are the nine different mouthful. exercises that we're going to do. Like I said, we're all going at the same pace, so you just follow along with us. Um, Lynn and I are going to go ahead and get started on the work on the warm-up here. I want you guys to follow along with us at home while Drew explains the structure of this awesome workout. All right, you guys, what we got today is a killer Tabata workout, but it is kind of complicated because there's three different sets of Tabatas. Yeah, as you know, we've done Tabata before. That means 20 seconds of high-intensity work. 
followed by 10 seconds of rest. So for the first Tabata, we're doing three different exercises. We're doing standing dumbbell, dumbbell tricep extensions, push-ups and high knees, and we're rotating through those three for a total of four and a half minutes. And then we're gonna rest for 30 seconds. Then we'll move on to Tabata number two, which is lying dumbbell chest press, lying dumbbell skull crushers, and burpees. And then we'll rotate through those three for four and a half minutes, uh, followed by 30 seconds of rest. And then we'll do Tabata number three, which is tricep push-ups, lying dumbbell flies, and frog jumps, rotating through those for four and a half minutes. And then I think by that time we'll be done, right? And dead. Hopefully, and dead. <laughs> we'll be dying. Um, so if you get lost, it'll be on the screen. Just follow along with the color that you're following today. All you need to remember is that we're doing 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest yeah. for 14 and a half minutes. Yeah. So. And we'll prompt you with which workout is coming up next, or which right. exercise is coming up We're gonna be right into some butt kicks. Butt kickers. And that's the last part of our warm up. So Tabatas, you guys, are a really awesome exercise and you see here at Dollar Workout Club we do them a lot because they burn a lot of calories and a lot of fat in a short period of time. The reason is because it gets your heart rate up in that 20 seconds of work and then you have minimal rest. So you're just really shooting your heart rate up and burning a lot of calories in a four and a half minute workout. It's awesome. Whew. All right, I All think right. we're ready to get started, right? Yeah, you so guys ready at home? Let's get into position. Make we're sure gonna you start with the standing by. dumbbell tricep extension. So grab your weight and we're gonna go ahead and get started in three, two, one, and go. All right, so Here again, go. here what you wanna really focus on is keeping your elbows close to your ears, okay? I don't wanna see your elbows really far out like this. You want your elbows close to your head. Try and keep them stationary. What I also don't wanna see is like swinging like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hurt Drew over here. You really All right, rest. Rest. we got push-ups next. Yeah, Ten I was seconds. gonna say, during our rest, you're gonna to wanna to get into your push-up position, so it's not that long of a rest. Three. Two, two, one, go. You're in 20 seconds of push-ups. Here. Remember on this, you guys, keep that back flat, keep that butt down. Really try to get all the way to the ground, hitting that chest all the way to the ground or to the wall if possible, and full extension up. Squeezing your chest as you come all the way up. Good Three, job. Two, one, rest uh, into high knee seconds. position. High knees next. Okay. Whew. Five more seconds, you guys. Three. Two, one, go. Now the key here is especially on these high knees, we want you to shoot your heart rate up. So really focus on getting a fast cadence, moving those legs as fast as you possibly can, okay? Quick, 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 quick motions. The harder you push yourself, the better results you're gonna see. In three, two, one, grab those weights, go Ooh. right into tricep oh. extension. Wait, 10 oh, seconds. Oh, 10 seconds. Second <laughs> Don't I'm go over to you over here. Sorry. <laughs> guys. Say, I need my break. She's trying to kill us. <laughs> Two, one, and go. She's trying to kill us. Keeping those elbows in, you guys. It helps if you squeeze your core and your glutes. It helps you keep your body in place so that you're not throwing your body around like Natalie talked about last round. Three, two, one, and rest for 10 seconds. So go get into your push-up position. Whew, hardy, hard breathing. In two, one, 20 seconds of push-ups. Remember if you're green, the further you step away from the wall, the harder it's gonna be, and the closer you get to the wall, the easier it's gonna be. It's helpful for me to count the number of reps I do each round so that I can try to stay as consistent for all three rounds that we're doing of each of these exercises. And rest. Uh, 10 seconds, get into your high knee position. Ooh. We're almost done with round two, you guys. Good. We we'll only have one more round before we go in the next break. And two, one, high knees. Focus on having that really quick cadence. We really want your heart rate to shoot up right here so you're burning the most amount of calories as possible. Yeah, don't jip yourself, you guys. Make sure those knees are going high. Right, you want all the way up. I don't want to see you doing this, okay? All the way up. In three, two, one, Whew. good job. Get ready for standing dumbbell tricep extension. This is round three, you guys. <sighs> then we have a 30 second rest. Whew. Your heart rate should be up, you guys. If not, move up a level. One, go. Remember, keep your elbows close to your head. You don't want those elbows flying out and you don't want your body swinging. If you guys aren't feeling this, if you're not feeling tired or fatigued or a little bit out of breath, you may want to go up and do a harder level. 
because you should be at least moderately One tired. One rest. <sighs> okay, get into push-up position. These are the last regular push-ups we're gonna do. Oh, these are getting harder. Oh yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Focus on form this last round. When you're tired, you tend to sacrifice on form. Focus on keeping that back flat, that butt down, chest all the way to ground, and extending all the way up with each rep. Three, get as many as you can. Two, one, oh. good. Okay, go right into high oh. knees. High knees, and then we get a 30 second And then we get a 30 second rest, oh, okay? okay. In three, two, one, quick. High knees, get those knees all the way up. The higher you can get your knees, the harder it's gonna be, and that's what we want. We have a 30 second break after this, you guys. So really give it your all and go all out on this last round. Two more seconds. Good job, guys. Go, quick, 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 quick. Fast feet, hop off those toes. Four, three, as many as you can. One, and rest for 30 seconds. Actually, you get 40 seconds to rest because you get the 10 mm. seconds left from the oh. Tabata and then 30 seconds of rest. Ooh. So go grab a water bottle, get your towel, wipe that sweat off, oh, yeah. and just prepare your body. Start thinking about the next round. So remember, the next three exercises we're gonna do are lying dumbbell chest press, lying dumbbell skull crushers, and burpees. Ooh. So in about 20 seconds, we're gonna get started. You're gonna lie on the ground and grab your weight and do that A motion chest press, all right? We have 12 seconds. What's nice is you'll, you might feel like you have a little bit more rest this time since we use the weight and stay on the ground Lay down. for two moves in a row. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, what I want you guys to focus on is getting your upper arm all the way down to the ground every single time, and then using your chest muscles to really push that weight right above your head. Good job, you guys. Four, job. three, two, one, rest. and rest. Okay. Then you're gonna go into lying dumbbell skull crushers. So remember, this is a tricep workout. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Put those weights right above your head and then you're only bending at the elbow, okay? You're not gonna try, I don't want you swinging your arms back and forth. You really wanna keep the upper part of your arms stationary and only move the part that goes from your elbow to your wrist. In three, two, one, Rest and get ready for burpees, okay? So go right into that burpee position. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the ledge right here and Lynn's gonna use that ledge. Ready. One, and go. Nice job, you guys. Remember with these burpees, for both green and yellow, the further you either step your feet back or hop your feet back, the harder the move is. So try to go at a fast pace, try to really step back as far as you can or hop back as far as you can ready. to just move. And Relax. rest. Good job. All right, you guys, going right back, back in. down. We're going to go into chest press. We're doing that A formation. Round two here. In three, two, one, go. Good job, you guys. Remember, we're only doing this motion for 20 seconds. Try and get as many reps as you can with perfect form. I know a lot of times, as a girl, sometimes I used to think, why would I want to work my chest? But it really helps with full muscle symmetry. Yeah. Uh, and oh, then, yeah. oh yeah, lying down the skull crushers. Oh. So face your palms in, get your arms straight above your head. We're Three, gonna start. Two, one, go. Keep those elbows in, close to your head, and really again, the <coughs> only part of your arm I want to see <coughs> is between your elbow and your wrist. The part from your shoulder to your elbow should stay in one spot the whole time. Your tricep is a really small muscle group, so this should be a hard exercise. In one, and rest, go into burpee position. Good job, you guys. All right, get to your station for burpees. <coughs> Three, two, one, and burpee. Yep. You guys, on this one, if it helps, count your reps. It's good to make sure you're keeping up the same type of intensity and momentum as we're doing these Tabata exercises. So start counting the number of reps you have, keep that in your mind, so for our last set, you could try to either maintain that or even beat it. Oh, Two, man. one, and rest. <sighs> did you give up early, Drew? I think I did on accident. You little cheater. By accident. <laughs> All know. right, lay down. We're going to do chest press. <laughs> in Two, one, go. I want to go in an A formation. Yeah. I hope you guys give Drew a lot of slack in the comments below <laughs> for that. I'll make up for it by doing extra <laughs> chest press. Move. Last there. round, best round, you guys. This is our last set, right? Yep. All right. See? 
I'm making up for it now. Good job, good job. Push yourself in three, two, as many reps as you can, and rest. Lay down. Skull crushers. Skull crushers. Skull crushers. Just don't crush your skull. Yeah. Just... In three, two, one. Use that tricep muscle. Don't whack me in the head, Drew. I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> Who put these mats so close together? Keep those elbows together, you guys. Focus on good form throughout the last rep. I have a few more to go. This is the last dump full crusher exercise we're gonna do. We have two, one, burpees. Last set of burpees, you guys. Last set of burpees. Just 20 seconds of burpees and that's it. All right. In three, three, two, one, go. Come on, you guys, go all out. You counted your reps last time. Maintain it or beat it. Just remember, it's the last time you have to do the dreaded burpees. Almost there. We have about five seconds left. Two, one. <sighs> Good. We got a 40 second rest, you guys. 10 seconds from the Tabata and then 30 <sighs> seconds right now. Oh, you okay. guys, two thirds of the way done. What do we got next? I hope you feel good. So the next round of Tabatas, we're gonna do tricep push-ups, oh, lying dumbbell flies, and frog jumps, okay? So this last Tabata is the hardest of the three. I really want you guys to push yourselves hard. Think about getting in that tricep push-up position in about 15 seconds we're gonna start. Grab a quick drink of water if you need. Oh, man. Remember, we're gonna get as many reps as we can. So walk over, if you're green, find a wall. Get your hands close together in three, two, one. 20 seconds of tricep push-ups. Remember, if you're green, you wanna get your forearms all the way to the wall. If you're yellow and red, you wanna get your chest all the way down. Like I said, this is a hard movement because your tricep is such a small muscle group, so if you need to go slow, that's okay. Ooh, make sure to keep that three, back flat, you guys. Two, butt down. One, Ugh. and rest. Okay, go right into Ooh. lying dumbbell fly. So move pretty quickly to the next movement. You're gonna lie down on the ground, and then I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, scoot up like, a little bit. Okay. And one, go. Okay, so keep the idea. Keep those straight, you guys. And yep. I don't want to see down. you bending your arms like this. I want your arms to be straight, but not totally locked. And yeah, I want you to bring your arms all the way down to the ground. The further down you bring your arms, the harder that exercise is going to be. Yeah, you'll notice when you reach the full extension and the weights are at the oh, ground. Rest, rest. rest. Oh. And then right. you're lifting up, it's pretty okay. sore. Get ready for frog jumps. Right. Remember, feet wide and go. So you want your feet wider than shoulder width apart. Point is slightly out, and you want to squeeze your butt cheeks at the top. Ooh. If you're green, if you're yellow and red, you want to jump as high as you can. All right, this is an awesome Ooh. cardio workout. Three, two, one. <sighs> 10 seconds of rest, and we're going to go right into tricep push-ups again. Good yeah, job, you guys. Two. We're almost done with this workout. We only have a couple minutes left. Ooh. Three, two, one. Go. 20 seconds of tricep push-ups. Make sure to keep those elbows in, you guys. Keep them in tight. Don't let them come out from your the exact same position they're at. You're really only bending those elbows, bringing that chest to the ground or towards the wall. In three, two, one. Rest, and then lie down on the ground. So get in position. We're going to go right into lying dumbbell flies. Oh, good job, you guys. In three, two, one and go. Now one thing I really want you guys to focus on is having really controlled movements, okay? I don't want to see you going like this and getting really crazy. If this weight feels too heavy for you, drop the weight. This is a challenging exercise. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a partner, try not to hit their weight. We have three, two, one, and rest. And then get into frog jump frog position. Jumps. So find that chair if you're green or that couch. All okay, right, in three, two, one, go. Remember, your feet are wider than shoulder width apart and toes are slightly pointed out. Okay? Make sure you're breathing through this whole exercise. Your heart rate's going to be up, elevated. Yep. Chest up. Four, three, two, one. Last round of everything. Okay, tricep push ups, you guys. Done, you guys. Good position. Good job. In three, two, one. One last set of tricep push-ups. Go all out. Get as many reps as you can. I don't want you guys to get done with this workout feeling like you left anything on the table. Right? I really want you to feel like you pushed yourself as hard as you possibly could. 
Make sure your hands are even with each other. You don't want one hand that's an inch higher than the other hand. Three, two, one. Rest, oh, go man. right into lying dumbbell flies. Got triceps on fire. <laughs> All right, guys, we have three seconds, two, one, and go. Really squeeze that chest as you bring the weights up, you guys. You should feel a pretty deep stretch and pinch in your chest when you reach full extension with your weight all the way at the ground right before you lift up to squeeze it back up. Two, one, and rest. And then frog oh. jumps, guys. Last frog exercise. Jumps. 20 seconds of this workout, that's all we have left. Finish strong, finish strong. Three, two, one, go. I want you to go fast. Get in as many jumps as you possibly can here, okay? Go faster than you did last time. Try and go as quick as you can. These are your last chance to burn as many calories as possible. Seven seconds, come on, you got this. Three seconds, go, get as many as you can. Two, one, uh, and we're done. Uh, Woo! Good job, you guys. I'm so proud of you. Take a second, catch your breath. Okay, your heart rate's gonna be really high right now. Our goal right now is to slowly lower your heart rate back down before you resume your normal activity, okay? So let's grab a drink of water real quick, and then we're gonna go right into our cool down stretches. Now, if you notice, we always, stretch the muscle groups that we worked in that day's workout. So today we worked our chest and our triceps, and a lot of our glutes went in those jumping exercises. So we're gonna really stretch those, those muscle groups right now. So we're gonna start with a tricep stretch. What you're gonna do is take your arm, lift it straight in the air, bend that elbow, and then you're just gonna grab your elbow with your other hand and try and touch the, your back and push your elbow back as far as possible. Okay? Let me spend this deep stretch in your tricep right here. I should be engorged with blood from all those <laughs> tricep exercises. Oh, it should be a little bit hard to breathe too. Yep. Just hold this here for a minute. Okay, right, now we're gonna switch arms, <clears throat> shake it out, let that blood go through, and then switch arms. And then like Lynn's showing you, really just wanna <clears throat> see how far down you can get that hand on your back. It's gonna really stretch out your tricep muscle. Keep it close to your head. You don't want it way out here. You want it close to your head. Oh, that was a tough workout today, you guys. It was kind of fun switching up the Tabatas like that, though. We, you'll see us do that occasionally just to switch things up and make them not so routine. Uh, okay, we're going to do a lying chest stretch. So what you're going to do is lie on the ground, and you're going to stick one arm out, and the other arm you're going to bend perpendicular with the ground, and then you're going to look at the elbow that's bent and kind of rotate your body. You really should feel a good chest stretch as yep. you lift your body up. And keep that shoulder on the ground as you twist your body. Oh. Just feel nice and tight in your front delt and your chest muscle right now. Yeah. And, and a little really bit in your bicep. Whew, I'm still, Switch sides. I'm still catching my breath. Yeah. A lot of times with these workouts, you guys, because they're high intensity interval training, you'll notice you actually sweat more and are maybe even more tired after the exercise. That's normal because our workouts give you an amazing afterburn, which means you're burning a lot of calories post exercise, not just during the exercise. All right, then the last exercise we're going to do is get up off the floor. We're going to do a glute crossover. And so you're just going to sit down and then you're going to take your leg and cross it over and pull that knee into your chest with your arms. And then you should feel a really yeah, good stretch tight. right in right here. That's tight. Your that's legs tight. might be, even though this was a chest and tricep workout, your legs may be a little bit sore from all the burpees, the high knees, and the frog jumps that we did in the cardio part of the Tabata workout. Yeah, those frog jumps, man. Those are tough. They're tough. I, really I have a lot more respect for frogs now. <laughs> True. Seriously. But why are their legs so small? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Drew. I, someone saying. should put together a doc with like all of the funny things Drew, Drew says. Drew is nice. Oh, switch. Oh, oh, I love the stretch though. It feels Thank really you. good. And like we always say, remember, these are stretches that you can continue to do throughout the day. So if you're starting to feel sore in your triceps or in your chest, you can do these um, all day long. All right, I hope that your heart rate is starting to come back down and that it's not as high as it was as soon as we got done with those last frog jumps. That was our goal. If your heart rate is still really high, continue to stretch while you watch the recipe and motivation videos. 
We appreciate you guys so much. We consider you all family here at Dollar Workout Club. As you can tell, we like to have fun. We like to goof off, just like we would with our best friends, and that's what we consider you guys. So thank you so much for being a part of Dollar Workout Club, and we cannot wait to see you tomorrow. See Bye. you guys. Bye. conference of women this weekend and I was talking on self-love and self-care and body image and all those all those wonderful issues and afterwards I had a couple people come up to me and ask me some really good questions and so I thought that'd be a great topic for me to talk about with you guys today and I was asked by a lot of people actually just how to get started you know a lot of people said I just feel so overwhelmed there's so much information out there and I just want to be healthy and so here's my suggestion to everybody whenever they ask me this it can feel, I mean, trust me, I know exactly how overwhelming that can feel. That's how I felt. I remember after I had my son and I had gained 70 pounds during my pregnancy. And yeah, he was a 10 pound baby and I came home 10 pounds, 15 pounds lighter, but I still had, you know, 50, 55 pounds to lose. And the number one thing that I recommend to people is not to completely change your whole entire life, but to start with small changes. And the reason is because weight loss, from what I've learned with my experience, is so much more about behavior modification than it is about the actual science of weight loss. Everybody knows that weight loss is gonna occur when you're in a calorie deficit. So when you're burning more calories than you're taking in. But the truth is that that's hard to do um, from a behavior standpoint, right? We have our habits and our routines. And so what I always suggest to people is just start very, very small. And this is why, because what happens is when you start small and you set really small goals, you start to see little tiny wins for yourself along the way. And when you get a little tiny win, it creates momentum and it makes you feel good and it makes you realize, hey, I think I can actually do this. As opposed to setting these huge, massive weight loss goals and Weight loss is slow. You don't get instant results a lot of the time. So you feel discouraged, you feel disappointed if you can't be super strict all the time, which leads to feelings of failure, which a lot of times leads to a downward spiral of emotional eating, et cetera. So here's, my, here's what I would say if you are in those same shoes. Start small, set tiny, tiny goals. Um, I would start even if you don't feel comfortable doing any of the workouts here at Dollar Workout Club, that's totally fine. Start with just walking. Start with just walking to the stop sign at the end of the street. And once you feel comfortable with that, walk for 15 minutes at a time. And once you feel comfortable with that, walk for 30 minutes. Um, and then once you feel comfortable with walking for 30 minutes, then add in a few other challenges. Maybe at work, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Um, maybe add just one dollar workout club workout per week until you, that becomes a habit and feels comfortable and natural to you. So start small and then as you slowly start achieving those goals, then you can make them a little bit bigger. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any specific questions about that, um, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll go through your comments and answer any questions you have in further videos. Hey guys, we just wanna take a second to let you know how much we appreciate you. Dollar Workout Club wouldn't be a club without each of you guys, and you mean so much to us. Yeah, and we want you guys to leave your comments. There's a section below where you can talk about if you've tried the recipe, or how you thought of the workout, or how you did in the workout, or questions about the motivational tips. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. Yeah, and don't forget to invite your friends, you guys, to join us here at Dollar Workout Club, and don't forget to follow us on social media using these handles below. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.